When digitizing with the Stitch and Sew program, you may find from time to time that you need to insert one or two stitches in between blocks. You can use the running stitch tool to do the routing around into a design like this, but some people prefer to use the manual input method. What we're going to do in this example is I'm going to create this abstract horse. We create this small satin area up here and we're going to stitch it. As you see, the last stitch in this block is located here. I need to get over to this block to create the satin here. The distance from here to there would be a fairly long jump and you don't really don't want maybe to cause a trim or something like that. It's just cleaner if you walk down through here and then do this one. We'll walk over here and do that one. To insert manual stitches, we press the insert key on the keyboard. This is the insert key in the group of six that are normally on the, near the right side of your keyboard. Then to insert stitches, we just click wherever we want a stitch to be created. One, two, three, four stitches and then stitch it. Now it switches back to the previous selected tool, which is column. Stitch it. Insert. Click, 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 click. And as you can see, by using the manual stitch mode, you can quickly route through your design and create the blocks you need to make an efficient embroidery design.